You know what it is, right? Ubisoft really know how to get on my nerves. <laughs> Yo, what's going on people, it's your boy The Pacemaker here, bringing you another video on my channel today, what I've got for you. Well, we're going to be discussing The Division 2. Now, why am I discussing The Division 2? Because they just released an update video, which means that they're going back to Coney Island, which is like the first game. So, obviously, the first, Coney Island is just off of New York. It's, um, where exactly is Coney Island? I think... No, that's Ellis Island, isn't it? The one with the statue on. Let me. See. I'm gonna have to like Google a map real quick just to double check. But Coney Island, right? Okay. Um. Dun 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 dun. Oh, okay. So it's literally next to Brooklyn. By the sound of this. Yeah, it's a borough of Brooklyn, New York. So, what they're doing is they're going back to Coney Island, and uh, I'm just going to put this on in the background for myself. But uh, so essentially, what that means is now they're trying to go back after Chichenenko, the guy who somewhat created the virus, and um, which is mad because this is kind of like the first time, really. Like, obviously, there's loads of little bits of crossover here and there, but this is like the first immediate like crossover with Aaron Keener, the first time that we actually see Aaron Keener since. And, uh, you know, looking at the video, it was one of those things where it's like, you know, the division I've not really been into for a while, and the reason why I'm annoyed with Ubisoft is because I've just deleted this from my PlayStation to make space so that I could play GTA V, um, Death Stranding, and keep Apex on there. So it just annoys me that now I've got to reinstall this to play the new episode, which is just absolutely bonkers to me. But it looks like they're bringing in a brand new flamethrower class, which is, you know how you get, like, the ultimate? So I always use Sharpshooter, but... Um, you get, it looks like they're bringing in Flamethrower. I know they've got a dude with a rocket launcher as well. It's been so long since I played The Division 2. It's, 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 it's not even like funny anymore. But the thing is, I want to play this because it seems more crucial to the story. And, you know, you just see him at that last second, the last little clip with his rogue badge on. And it's just like, mm, I want to go back and play this now. As you know, we did the raid. We did the first raid, which was... Yeah, I only wanted to do it once to, to make sure I'd done it. It wasn't something I was going to grind over and over. And the reason why the game kind of fails is because it just continuously gets you to grind. Like, there's no point where you can go, okay, I've done all of this. And it just constantly keeps resetting itself. And it's just like, oh, here we go, doing the same things again. But I do want to platinum it. And um, I think eventually I will platinum it. Um, I think when I reinstall it, I'll end up platinuming it. So that's kind of like what I wanted to, to just briefly talk about was just the fact that I might go back and play this. I might go back and and you know enjoy playing the division for a change uh, rather than you know sitting there and and just thinking, oh, here we go doing the same stuff over and over and over and over. So um, yeah, it, episode three is coming. Uh, Coney Island and you know is this the turning point did it you know because Ubisoft obviously have that track record of making a game crap for like three years and then making it really good or something obviously we're only into the second year of it now um, but the thing is they did it with the division so with the first division it came out it was good then it just declined and then it hit real hard in like year three year four so you know and the division now is still better than this one, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, what does this one offer? It offers a few like little more extra bits than that. But as far as I'm concerned, the first division is 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 at its peak point now. And you know, people say that one's more playable. That there's more satisfaction from accomplishing stuff. And I agree. I would agree with that. There's stuff on the division one that I never even did that I never got to do. Um, 
on global events and stuff on this one. I've just not wanted to play it. <laughs> and then, but it's the same thing with like with Ghost Recon. It's kind of like that game was decent when it came out. Ghost War first came out, came out, it was decent, and then it just dipped, and it was just kind of like we're getting the same thing over and over. But it didn't have that resurgence because it was great in its first year and a half. And then once the year two pass come out, it just it, that's when it went downhill. And then instead of like doing that comeback thing that they've done with Siege or that they've done with the first division, they literally just went, oh, you know, it's um, we're, we're just going to give you a whole new game instead. When you could that could have just been an, an entire new like just extension of of Wildlands. So I'm hoping that the Coney Island thing will will make this uh, worth it. Now I'm hoping this will you know wrap it up and it'll be a real nice like story to tell um hopefully that is you know what i mean i'm not i'm not banking on it but uh i will go back and i will play this once episode three is going to come out which means i've got to clear some space on there which means i'll probably delete gta 5 and then re-download it but yeah so the division 2 looking like it's going to be a little bit more interesting uh these days so let me know your thoughts let me know what you think about it are you going to go back and play the division 2 i've friends who you know we we all got division two on release at the same time and i don't think anybody has played it at least for like a year well hang on it has not been out like a full year yet but since it come out i i, I would say no one's played it in the last six months I would, I would probably bank on on that being a solid statement no one's played it in the last six months so you guys are gonna go back and play it. talk to me let me know in the comments below uh we've got more videos coming uh next video i need to do grand soiree review and uh, that will be i'll probably record it right after this one so hope you guys have enjoyed this one spin off me boy pacemaker peace out come on, come on. Come on.